Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. I'm speaking on grace this morning. I'm speaking on what? Grace. The place of grace in divine access to success. That when you understand this instrumentality of grace, the power of grace, and what grace is capable of doing in your life, then apply it to the theme of this year, divine access. Divine access to success. Divine open door to success. Where is the place of grace? Grace appeared in the scriptures about 170 times in the Bible. Somebody defined grace as I take this very, very important. A lot of people think that, believe, of course, it is correct to an extent that grace is unmerited favor of God. Unmerited favor. I, I, um, I, I believe that to an extent, but I know that every provision of blessing of God, there is an element of you doing something because grace is merited. If we talk about grace as unmerited favor alone, uh, we will only put it in the area of salvation. Even at that he said you we are saved by grace. But even at that, it, you were not forced into it. Rather, you submitted. No one gets born again. He said, if thou will believe in thy heart and confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. Is that correct? That means you, you did something as well. Where grace operated here is that God just showed you mercy. But this is the definition that makes me glad. God's riches at Christ's expense. This is the, the, the place of grace that gets me excited. That God has paid for all for all. Somebody say all. Through Christ Jesus, he paid it all. And all that God has paid for, I have access to them through only one person. And that person is Jesus. And it is grace that takes me there. God's Riches at Christ's expense. All he paid for by Jesus. Only accessible through grace. Therefore, grace has to be understood. And I'm going to take us through some scriptures this morning 
Grace is one of God's divine elements that guarantees salvation. Without it, there's no salvation. It is a divine element. You don't see it, but it operates. It's abstract. But you see the manifestation in people's life. Look at Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are ye what? Saved. But faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of what? God. Verse 9. Not of works. Lest any man should do what? Boast. Not of works. By grace. Lift up your hand and say, by grace, by grace. I am saved. I am saved. By, grace. by grace are you saved. Read with me 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 9 to 10. 1 Corinthians 15, 9 to 10. For I am the least of the apostles, that I'm not meet to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of who? God. I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which is with me. Some people will just think that because it say, we say unmerited favor, you don't do nothing. It will just come. No, sir. There are certain things that you got to do. Grace. Somebody shout grace. Go with me to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. Then we will run. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. And he said unto me, this is Paul. Go to 8. Let me begin from 8. For this thing I besought the Lord thrice, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. Lift your right hand and say, the grace of God is sufficient for me. Please say it if you mean it. Say the grace of God is sufficient for me. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Exodus chapter 34, 9 and 10. And he said, if now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us for it. It's a stiff-necked people. And pardon our iniquity and our sin. And take us for thy inheritance. And he said, behold, I make a covenant before all thy people. I will do marvels such as have not been done in all the earth nor in any nation and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee even in the Old Testament many people believe that grace was only in the New Testament Bible said Noah found grace in the sight of the Lord divine element when it comes on you when it comes on you, it changes your life for better. When grace rests on you. When you are operating on grace, it's different from when you are operating on labor. It God's grace. That is the empowerment that gives you the ability to do exploit. Grace. Grace is God's empowerment. God's endowment. 
that enables you to do exploits. There is the doing of yours. But when this grace comes on the doing of yours, it translates into exploits. Grace empowers you. You are not seeing it. But you are taking some steps into territory that you are not qualified for. Yet you are making waves. Is anybody listening to me? You are, you are, you are taking some steps. You are venturing into areas. You are charting new paths. And people think it is your wisdom. No, it is the grace. Oh, God help me. Somebody shout grace. You chart a new path where there was no path before. When grace rests upon you. It is grace that enables you to take extra steps in different areas of life. And produce outstanding results. So if you are going to produce outstanding results. If you are going to have access to men, to ideas, to opportunities. You need grace. Somebody shout grace. grace. It is a divine element of God. It is abstract. You don't see it, but it's operative. And it's only when you understand that this is by grace that you give him all the glory. That you don't take the glory to yourself. Because it doesn't depend on your ability. Even though you are doing something. Grace. Somebody shout grace. You will understand this. Because when grace is operating, you are doing the same thing others are doing. In fact, you are doing worse than they are doing. But you are getting more results. Are you, are you here? You are getting what? More results. And people begin to wonder, people will think that there is something, there is somebody you are consulting, there is some charms you are using. No, that is how grace operates. Can I hear somebody shout grace? That is the almightiness of God. Invading your humanity. To help you in the place where you can help yourself. The almightiness of God. Invading your helplessness. And say this is the extent you can let me help you. Let me help you. And he comes in and lifted you when you have exhausted, when you have come to ground zero. It is indispensable in your life because that is the thing that brought you in the first place. And that is what will carry you through. The grace of God. What is the grace of God? Somebody put it this way. It is undeserved favor. Rewarding the unrewarded labor of men. This favor that comes, it brings reward. Somebody shout reward. When you have labored, and you were not rewarded. And you labored here, there is no reward. And you plant here, there is no harvest. When this grace comes, it begins to reward you in all the places you have labored. And it can just come in one month. The labor of 20 years. And when it happens like that, people just get confused. Because there is no way they can explain it. And some say it's a miracle. I say it is grace.
Thank you.